In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a slide where you can show the complete company information in under just one slide. Let me just show you how it works. When I click the first, uh, the rectangle comes with the company logo and the company name. And when I click, it will show the company tagline. You can add the company tagline with the shadow effect. And on my next click, you can add the company vision and mission. And then you can talk about the company history and then the overview of the company you can see here and if you have some achievements of the company you can display it or list it here and then you can talk about the company's growth year on year percentage or whatever you feel better and then you can talk about the company location its address and all the details and then you can talk about the contact details of the particular company so I have created two slides, one with animation and another without animation. So depending on your requirement, uh, you can choose it and everything is editable. You can just replace your text with your own text. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as you can join my uh, Telegram group with the help of this link. It is also provided in the video description section. And if you like to contribute to my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, go to insert, shapes, and from the rectangle, select the second one, which is the rectangle rounded corners. Again, make it this much size, or you can increase or decrease depending on your requirement. Shape outline, make it no outline, and align center and align middle. And I'm just going to change the slide background color for that right mouse click go to format background and I'm going to choose some light gray color and this one I'm going to make it white color you can see here and then I'm going to add a few more shapes rectangle shapes so again I'm just going to select the rectangles here you can see here all right then shape outline make it no outline and shape field you can give any color of your choice and here i'm going to add the company logo and the name for that go to insert shape select the oval shape i'm just going to draw a oval shape here where you can add the logo i'm just going to make it some dark gray color and go to insert text box you can add the company name or the business name and give some good font i'm going to choose maybe roboto make it bold increase the size you can see here and then here this place i'm going to add the company tagline all right and then i'm going to connect this one with this uh, rectangle so what i'm going to do go to insert shapes i'm going to select the trapezoid draw the trapezoid shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color and go to rotate you can see here i've got uh, this rotate right 90 degrees or whichever way you want maybe I can take rotate left 90 degrees and bring it here all right let me just zoom in and increase the size so that and here also you can increase a little bit and then if you want to give some curved shape right mouse click edit points and I can just curve this a little bit like this you can see here and here also I'm just going to make it curved all right and this also I'm going to reduce it now and then you can just add it here at the top okay and then select this one and send this two back all right and these two shapes I'm going to merge it go to merge shape and just say union so likewise I'm going to add uh, uh, many rectangles depending on my requirement so now I'm going to add few more rectangles, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle and I'm going to add a rectangle here. You can see here if you want, you can make it somewhat inside also and shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill. You can choose any good color combination and then send this to back. You can see here, let me just zoom in and then here what I'm going to do, I'm going to add some additional shapes, go to insert shapes and I'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline and shape fill give the same color and you can just you can see here i can just say flip vertical and then i can just make it flip horizontal and i'm just going to put it here one press ctrl d to duplicate again rotate i'm going to rotate you can see here 
uh, rotate right 90 degrees bring this here and then i can just you can see here flip horizontal and just put it here one more and these two also i'm going to send this two back and again if you want i can just select this one edit points and i can just make it somewhat curved shape here you can see here something look like this again this also edit point and i'm just going to select this bring it inside this also bring it inside and then i'm just going to select all these three or before that one if i want i can just keep a duplicate and for the later use then i'm going to select both the three shapes and merge shape and just union it so you can see here and then i'm just going to add insert shapes one more rectangle this side maybe you can make it more bigger or smaller so depending on your requirement you can use it shape outline make it no outline shape fill i can use any dark color and again this also i can send back and again i can use this shape the same color i'm going to fill let me just zoom in and then i can just help with the help of a rotate you can see here i'm just going to put it here Control D. All right, and then I'm just going to bring this here again. I can rotate it to flip vertical. You can see here, and again, both of this send this to back, and then I'm going to select all these three shapes merge shape and union. Sorry, I have just made something wrong here, it should go the other side let me just rotate it proper way you can see here it has to come like this and then i have to rotate one more time flip horizontal i think this is okay so again let me just select all these three shapes more shape and then union you can see here so likewise i can just make some random shapes more rectangle shapes here i'm going to add one more here all right again shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give some different color combination and here i'm going to insert again the trapezoid draw the trapezoid sorry i have not selected the trapezoid i believe let me just select the trapezoid you can see here put it exactly in the center same color shape outline no outline and both of these i'm going to union it so and this one i'll bring it somewhat down and send this to back all right so let me just add few more rectangles again you can see here maybe i can just add one here all right closer to this one give some different color combination send this to back and i'm going to add one more so depending on your requirement either you can increase or decrease it so again give some different color combination shape outline no outline sorry shape outline i'll make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give this color and send this to back and here also i'm going to add two more uh, rounded corner rectangle one is this side again if you want a smaller one also you can add it smaller one so different different uh, sizes you can add it shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe i can use pink and then send this to back and one more last which i'm going to add it here so maybe this much size you can see here shape outline no outline and shape fill i can choose this color and send this to back all right so you can see here uh, our basic design is ready you know depending on your requirement you can add the detailed text to it so uh, let's add some more uh, shadow effects and after that we can add the text go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency effect maybe to 60 percent and go to the effects under soft edges increase the size you can see here and then just put it here one by one and then just control d you can see here i'm going to add one here control d one by one you can just add it wherever required some sizes you can increase some sizes you can decrease so so many things you can do it you can maybe this one i'm going to reduce the size all right and then one more i'm just going to increase the size and put it here 
then I'm going to select this rectangle, the text and the oval shape and bring to front. So this all gone uh, behind this one. Now let's add the tagline here. For example, insert text box. You can add the tagline. All right. So this could be a white font I'm going to choose. And again, choose some good font. All right. Put it here. Maybe I'm going to remove the guidelines. And then you can just double click here, control D, and you can add the mission and vision. And if required, you can increase the size also. Maybe I can increase the size further and move this one a little bit here and increase the size. So later on also you can increase or decrease also. So mission and vision will come here, control D, you can add the company history you can see here some detailed text also you can add it here you can talk about the overview company overview all right and here you can talk about the growth company growth let me just center align this you can talk about the growth year on year, whatever growth percentage. Control D. And here you can talk about the contact. Again, Control D. Bring it down. And here you can talk about the company location. You can give the address and all the other things. And Control D. If there's any achievements or anything which you want to put it here you can put it here under achievements all right and then you can add some detailed text here for each one add detail text here again for this font also I'm going to choose white Roboto I'm going to choose reduce the font size you can see here and press Control D add for each one wherever you feel this has to be added all right so you can see here you can just add the details all right so something like this you can do it now it's time to do the animation let me just close this go to the animation enable the animation pane I'm going to select this first add animation more entrance effect select basic zoom it comes out like this if i play it comes out like this and then the logo also i'm going to use the basic zoom the only difference which i'm going to do it should come from out okay it comes something like this and this should happen after previous and for this i'm going to add animation and uh, stretch stretch i'm going to make it from left and this should happen with previous so if i play it comes something like this okay so once this is done the company tagline should come so maybe you can give a fly in effect fly in or wipe different effects you can give and you can just double click you can increase the bounce and okay so it comes something like this and then the tagline should come for the tagline you can give the wipe effect wipe effect maybe you can give from the right and this should happen after previous so if I play it comes something like this and then the shadow effect also you can give a fade effect and that should happen with previous so something like this you can give it so after the tagline i'm going to use the animation painter click on the vision and mission and this one should come from uh, right all right and then the tagline that animation should be here okay and then for the shadow effect i'm going to use it something like this so you can see here simply you can just use the animation painter and just copy the animation to the rest of the options.